I have been waiting so long for this, it's here, XCOM 2. I am a massive, massive fan of XCOM, so I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to jump straight into it. Uh, let's go for a new game. Let's take that one. There we go. Let's, uh, let's, let's have a look at this, people. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by French elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Keeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. sort of look as the uh, XCOM 1. I'm liking the fact that it looks like they're using a very similar Sky Ranger to the um, to the original one. Not, not the XCOM the first part of this but the original XCOM franchise which I was a massive fan of too. Which I've spat so let's move this guy over here. This is um yeah, it's like in yep. position but I'm exposed here. It's better than nothing. But see if you can't find a safer position further out. Looks like full cover ahead. Moving out. Okay. This has definitely got the same feeling as the first one. Crasher 2, stay close. Keep pace with Crasher 1. To be honest, I've been that excited to get in here. I haven't messed with graphics, I've not with anything. I've just, I've just Double run time. it from the offset. But yeah, the, uh, the sky, I like the look of the Sky Ranger. Yeah. They're holding position. We're gonna have to go through them. Stay out of sight till we're ready to strike. Copy that. And the guy in the cutscene, that voice, I'm sure. 
keep to the shadows until you're absolutely set. Okay. I'm we sure. We'll only get one he, shot at this. He's the guy in the first shadows. He'll just see us first. Assassin's Creed style up there, but it's a little different sort of concealed, can see us. I'm assuming those red areas, if I walk into them, they will see me. I'm, I wouldn't Stay play this game like this, I'm a bit of a... I'm a bit cautious, I tend to... Uh, Don't get too close. Oh yeah. They'll be spotted for sure and we'll lose our I tend our to advantage. move my troops up, put them in overwatch and... Uh, got cover. I won't, I won't generally use these sort of tactics, but I'm just. This is the tutorial, obviously. So let's get this out of the way. We may have the numbers, but we've got surprise on our side. Hopefully, that's enough. Remind me to thank the old man. I like the theatrics as well. This, this, the. Uh, we're not out of the woods We're yet. We need to take out those remaining soldiers. Okay. I've got the trap on them. Permission to engage. Do it. Okay, let's just press enter, blah blah blah, activate this, so uh, that's fire weapon. Which one should we go for? 67, 67, so it's gonna be the 68, yeah? Let's fire this, let's tear this guy down. Let's go. Let's go. Same similar cutscene to when you kill stuff. Crash of one is on the floor. Okay. The task squad loses to blah blah. It's just attack breaking windows and kicking open the door. The door is flanked and stepped. Okay. They can see you now. How about you all shoot first and celebrate later? No Never. problem. Really? Yeah, let's move over there. I, I, don't I appreciate think that's the bravery, but, but you're dangerously close right now. Be yeah. careful. So, that's why you. I'm going to shoot somebody. Oh, yes, I'm killing your flank, so let's get rid of him. Drop some of What's this? I hope. You're still to keeping the, score, right? I hope compared to the first one. My problem with the first XCOM was you didn't have enough control over your money, you couldn't pick up weapons on battlefield until you could search them, stuff like that. I'm mopping the uh, brought that sort of way on. No, I'm not! No, no! Oh. Yeah? No! Crash it to us down! She's gone! Damn it! You can't take risks like that! Watch your flanks! So that's how you want to play it? Okay. Really? Okay. Let's move you there then. Nice work. Press the advantage before they get around you. Okay, let's uh, kill this guy. Sorry, I did have to sneeze then. My mic settings as I did that, apologies. I've gone a bit weird. Okay, right, so shoot this guy then. Obviously I'm a bit pissed that you just killed my friend, so eat this. Let's see how you like this! Oh yeah, I'm sure we could like that. Okay, right, so... They're closing in on me! Really? Watch the flight! Oh! Central, reporting in. Ah, oh, that's that. You're late. I'm pretty sure that is the guy from the first XCOM. Taking in the sights. God, looks like he's. Uh, what the hell are these things? Combining they're buttholes us. and bums with faces. At least there used to be. Human hybrid soldiers. Advent's reward for obedience and service. We've all heard rumors. I just never believed it was true. No one wanted to, but we find what we're looking for today. I promise you that's gonna change. Let's move. They've actually got like um, an ongoing 
That storyline really. The first XCOM had it like a storyline, but it Cover the left side. kind of just left you to it and it did little customs every now and then. Yeah, so we're gonna move this guy. Oh that's cool, I like that. So scrolling up and down on the mouse really obviously still up and down. So let's just move this guy. As, as normal, I just tend to just jump in a ring. Keep your eyes peeled. Fire on anything that moves. See, so I've watched something. Like the main again. entrance is clear. We need to move on the package. Okay. Packages. Let's get central. I have to turn my mouse sensitivity down. I like his gun, also. Menace three, you're up. Hold up. You should check that body for salvageable gear. We need anything we can get at this point. Better move fast, though. I've heard rumors Why don't you just pick her stuff to self-destruct. Stuff. Let's go. Okay, what about her? Right, right. Well, we'll go with you. The camera as well in the first place comes slightly away. up here with the cuts and I don't know if it's supposed to do that or if it's just like he's having a problem. Oh, yeah. Overwatch, here we go. Oh. Gotta love that overwatch. Well done. Fall back to our position. See this camera thing just here. Go. I'll try to stall him here. I just wonder if it's meant to do that. Alright, you're gonna clearly obviously gonna get killed with uh, that sort of I'm going speech you can't shoot. Um, why can't I not shoot him? Just look back. Well, this looks like he's saying up for a death. No way. What the I'm going for the door! Going for the door, okay. should be able to cut right through the door's security protocols. They were never expecting anyone to get this close. Hi, this is new. Soldier mint the gains concealment. Override soldier gains complete immunity from next two attacks. Let's just do that. Oh, all right. Okay, locked up. We're in. Good. Let's go. Why can't you shoot? I'd like you to. I'd like you to fire that gun, but mostly to secure the baggage. Theatrics. Let's hope our intel was good. Let's go. It's a lot now. This is the place. Are you sure? Yes. Looks like there's an access panel attached. If you got me a better look, I might be able to. Next time. Right, so if you, you pick your fellow. All oh, right, that'd be quite handy. I always thought that, that should be a good thing. The entire advent security grid just lit up. Oh, yep. Firebrand is holding nearby for evac. Yeah, being able to put your soldiers in. Understood. Take them to cover and heal them and stuff. That'd be cool. <laughs> right, I bet this guy's gonna die outside now. Yeah. 
I don't know if anybody else who plays this type of game likes to keep the soldiers alive. We need another exit now. You become quite protective of my mind. Yeah. Telling you to go. Oh, we should let you. This is a tutorial. Fine. Oh, okay. Oh, grenade now. Breach walls and stuff. Seen red up is that obviously next on the first one you fight to defend the earth, and we've lost basically. Uh, and now that we are we're now we're the resistance, so to speak, and we're trying to get the planet back you now. Carefully, there's potentially decades of atrophy to contend with. Wish we had more time. I don't disagree, but as it stands now, we risk losing the patient if we don't begin the removal procedure immediately. We are ready. Good. Then let's get on with it. Only if this is me. This has got to be me, right? Remarkable. Just like 20 years ago. We were still calling it a war back then. Nailed it. Nailed it. It is it. We had no idea what was coming. Response from the cerebral cortex. Good. Prepping for cranial intrusion. Oh. I've managed to identify the connection. Preparing to make final incision. This looks painful. These readings are getting really erratic. Of course they are. These implants were never designed to be removed. We are risking severe... No plan B here, people. Do it. Capillary 
response normal. Vital stabilizing. Procedure complete. Told them it would take more than that to keep you down. Welcome back, Commander. Oh, nail two. Nail twice. I'd, I'd high five if there's anyone here. I'd high five. No. Yeah. So I'm gonna let this Glad play to out. See you're finally coming out of it. Don't envy the headache you must have, though. Still, can't fault Dr. Tigan. Especially as no one's even attempted something like this before. Easy. We're still not entirely sure what they did to you. That chip was buried halfway into your skull. Lost a lot of good soldiers looking for you over the years. Almost gave up hope you were still out there. Acted on the intel as soon as I got word. Not sure what you remember, but uh, a lot's changed. Did the best I could, but the last 20 years have been tough without you. You feel like catching up. Shen has the archive up and running on your terminal. Otherwise, I'd go see Dr. Tigan when you're ready. There's some things you should know. He'll be better at explaining them than me. It's damn good to have you back, Commander. Yeah, it's good to be back. Right, so I'm gonna... Without trying to make this episode too long, we'll... Uh, Commander, to the research labs. We'll do a couple of these. More minutes. This is a little bit of introduction. Carry on, we'll get this Impressive, out Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power. You're completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. So I've literally just come out of a 20-year sleep. On your order, Commander. I will begin researching the Advent chip for possible insights as to its function. Right, so I've literally just come out of a 20-year sleep and he's already trapped to put me up for more help. Okay, fair enough. This is time I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. This, this thing only That research will keep Tigan busy for a while. In the meantime, you might want to head down to the armory. Um, all right. Commander. Commander, team. Jane Kelly was instrumental in the op to get you back. She earned enough experience for a promotion. We should take care of that now. Okay. Jane. The Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit. Capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. Cool. Da, da, da. Carry on. We're off to a good start. Is Our troops will only get stronger as they gain experience. Uh, good, so we get... uh, oops. Commander, to the bridge. Let's go to the bridge. I heard you, Shen. When we get the thing, you'll be the first to know. Unauthorized presence detected. Commander, give me a second. Execute Echelon Protocol. Attention. Senior Command Exchange confirmed. I had wanted that to be a little more ceremonious, but we've got something. A local resistance cell just located this hybrid magnetic power converter that Shen's been pushing us to find. They tracked the device to a nearby Advent convoy and are attempting to take it down. If we can bring this converter back in one piece, 
we might actually get this place up and running and give the aliens a real war for a change. The squad is prepped and ready to launch on your order, Commander. Just give the word. Alright, so... We'll stop this here. Tell me what you think. Uh, so far I'm impressed. Uh, we'll just obviously just scratching the surface. I'll get this put into the next video. Uh, I'll do... I'm going to try and do a couple of episodes of this actually. I'm enjoying this. Uh, I've been waiting for quite a long time. Um, and thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully the next one will take a bit more control and do what we need to do.